Welcome to a Marqueco Monday. Today we're going to be talking about something that's fundamental, but a lot of people still make mistakes. And it's really just what's the difference between the business manager and that account and a fan page? Because a lot of you are still making mistakes when you're talking about how to structure and how to use Facebook, right? So when Facebook first started, it was more for personal use. As it evolved, it added a lot of more functionalities and tools that you can use as a business. And I think a lot of people still make mistakes with what are the differences between a fan page and that account and the business manager. And so what I want to talk about first is what is a business manager? And this is, if you look here where it says business manager, right? This is where I'm in my business manager. And this is how it looks like. And where people get confused is that, well, one, I have a business manager, right? But two, it looks like I have an ad account and also my pages. I can have multiple ad accounts and I can have multiple pages within my business manager. And so what do you do and what is really the business manager for, right? And there's three things that you should know about the business manager and one is people. So what do you use it for? One is adding people to your business. So if you have a community manager, if you're working with an agency or an external partner, um, this is where you wanna add them. Two is what Facebook calls a digital asset, right? So a digital asset is basically your page, your ad account, Instagram accounts, your pixels, anything that's on the left column. So why is this important? Because I can basically assign a digital asset to people, right? So in this case, I can assign to myself different pages, ad accounts, or even pixels or access to audiences. And three, this is where I also set up my billing information, right? And this is where a lot of people get lost as well. So I have payments here. Uh, this is where I can get more information on my business. So three things that you want to know about the business manager. One is this is where you add people. This is where you assign and add digital assets. And when you, when you say, well, I want this person to have access to this pixel, this Instagram account, and all these different digital assets. And three is billing. And so that's the basic that you want to know about your business manager. Then what is a fan page? And what is an ad account, right? Because as you can see here, you have an ad account and you have pages. And this is where a lot of people get lost, right? Because there's two things that you want to know here. Basically, you have your fan page. And this is what everybody's used to. And this is your ad account. And for those of you using Facebook business, this is obvious. But for a lot of you that are using Facebook the normal Facebook, you don't necessarily see the difference because it's kind of merged. And you have to be able to recognize that they're not the same. A fan page is not the same as an ad account. Why? If you look here, this is where my normal fan page and what a normal fan page look like looks like, right? I can post things. I can go into my messenger. I have my settings as well where I can set up my business. So this is what most people see uh, and what most people have access to. What is my ad account? My ad account is basically my ads manager. And my ad account is basically where I spend money to add or to promote my post or my ads. And so one thing that I like, and, and usually what I tell people is that your fan page is basically everything that's free within Facebook. So within a fan page, I can post as much as I want to. I can interact as much as I want to. I don't necessarily have to pay to post things, right? I have a reach, and I reach a certain amount of people, but I don't pay anything. Within that account, what I tell people is that in that account is everything that's paid within Facebook. So yes, um, there's the tools are free. But if you actually want to use them and reach people, then you have to pay. So think of a fan page as everything that's free. Think of an ad account as everything that's paid. The other thing that's important here is that with an ad account, not only do I assign specific assets, right? But I also have access 
And so when I split and when I have access to my ad account, I basically have access to a number of different tools that within normal Facebook, I wouldn't, right? So I would have access to my pixels, offline events, everything that's related to your event manager. I have access to your analytics as well, um, to your different audiences. So within normal Facebook, I don't have core, save, personal audiences. The only thing I have is basically just basic setup on everything that you're doing. You have more things for tracking, right? So I have access to my SDK uh, campaign planner and a number of different um, tools, right? As you can see for planning, creating and managing, me measuring assets and settings that you don't have within normal Facebook. So everything, so for example, when you build a pixel, it's always going to be tied to your ad account, not to your business manager. And this is where a lot of people get lost with um, just how Facebook gets set up, right? So think of your fan page as everything that's free. Think of your ad account as everything that's paid. What are other differences? Uh, if you look here, so within your fan page, usually what I do is posts, right? So I, I can post things for free. Uh, whereas with my ad account, what I do is really ads. If you look, they're very similar, right? I can say advertise your business, get messages, build an event, start a live video. Whereas here, yes, you have things that are similar like video views, engagement, but for everything that I'm doing here, I'm paying. Most of the things I can do here, you're not paying. It's basically free. So I can post as much as I want and there shouldn't be an issue with posting, right? So keep in mind that there's a big difference between a post and an ad. When you talk about ads, you're paying. When you talk about post, it's everything that's free. What are other differences where I see people struggling and also just make mistakes, right? And so one thing you wanna consider is that when you talk about reach, right so the number of unique people that uh, look at your posts or your ads when you're talking about a fan page what you're talking about reach is organic right when you talk about an ad account what you're talking about is a paid reach so this is a big difference that a lot of people make mistakes in that when you talk again about a fan page Everything's free. So what I'm talking about is organic reach. When I'm talking about an ad account, I'm talking about paid stuff, right? So paid reach. I'm paying to reach people. Who am I reaching, right? Who are the users that, that I'm reaching? And this is another mistake or misconception that I see. When you talk about a fan page, usually you're reaching your fans. So people that have liked your fan page or people that have interacted recently with your fan page when you talk about an ad account what you're reaching is audiences right yes they can be fans or they can just be completely new audiences um, they can be core audiences right so saved audience based on demographic interest but they can also be uh, personalized ones like based on your pixel based on your SDK uh, or basically lookalike audiences. So I'm reaching new audiences to which I'm basically paying for them, right? Within my fan page, I'm not paying for them. Yes, I can pay to reach my fans, but then you're launching an ad, not a post. And so keep in mind that within your fan page, you have posts. Within your ad account, you have ads. When people talk about a promoted post, right? So what you're doing is basically going into your fan page, doing a post, and then when you boost it, what you're really doing is making that post into an ad. Why? Because now I'm paying for it. And that's why usually it's gonna give you organic reach, so who are the people that you're reaching that you're not paying? 
but it's also going to give you paid reach, right? Who are you paying to reach within that same post that you're boosting? So why do I talk about this? Because I see a lot of people saying, well, I'm doing ads. And then when I ask them, are you spending money? They say no. So what you're talking about then is just post or people talking about post. But then when I ask them if they're spending money, they say yes then what you're really talking about is ads. And you're talking about two complementary things, but that are different. And they're different because you measure things differently, right? Uh, your fan page, your, what you're measuring really is reach and interaction, whereas ad account or ads, what you're measuring, it's really related more to your objective. Are you trying to reach people? Are you trying to get people to go to your website um, or are you just trying to get people to view your your ads? So, and this all depends on the type of ad that you're running, right? Whereas with post, you have a bigger limitation in the, in the type of things that you can do. Uh, why? Because I don't have the same objectives as I have within my ads. So this is for some of you probably very basic but it's also something that i see a lot of mistakes uh, with people that are new to facebook that things that you should know uh, so just know real quick that basically you have your business manager and so the business manager is going to have ownership of your accounts and then within your business manager, I'm gonna have two things. I'm gonna have fan page, and I'm also gonna have an ad account, right? And so keep in mind that your business manager is not the same as your fan page, and that's not the same as your ad account, right? This is everything that's free, and this is everything that's paid. And what my business manager is going to give me is ownership and basically managing, billing, managing people, right? Plus my digital assets. So make sure that you know that difference. Um, hopefully this helps you just better get a better grasp of how Facebook works, how Facebook has structured basically um their business manager and how facebook campaigns really work on more of the admin side make sure that you also join our facebook group uh keep in mind that we've been posting all of our marqueco mondays share our marqueco mondays vote and let us know what topics do you want to see next week join the community we have more than four thousand members by now Download our free study guide, read our blog as well. Um, this is all content that should help you just be better, a better marketer. Uh, get certified in Facebook, and hopefully this helped you guys. Thanks for listening today. See you next week. Thanks.